This is Gao Sheng. He uses another generic model. One that we haven't seen until now. These guys like to block a lot, don't they? This uh, Dynasty Warriors 4 was made before there was a decent way of avoiding or doing a dodge roll. And it's a feature that I like very much. But luckily they invented that move right there, which is the jump charge attack, which kind of just lifts everybody out into the air. And yeah, my bodyguard right there, he's complaining. Because I'm being too much of a boss. Can't handle my awesomeness. I really wish I could land with that. Later in the game, I get an item called the Wind Scroll, and it doubles my range, and it's actually really good. And I need to avoid dying here, because I'm going to make this a very short-lived episode if I end up dying. He's supposed to say, PERISH, when he does that. Oh, cutscene. Heavens, save the children of the yellow turban. Strike down those that do us harm. It's raining. It's going to rain. Oh, yay, meat. Ooh. I love the meat. I'll eat meat all day. I'm such a meatarian. But really, I am. I, 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 I don't eat vegetables. Well, often. Now, he says, we let us join the battle because we're awesome, but we're really not. We're going to get destroyed by some generic general if you don't help me. Watch. It's totally going to happen. See? Told you. Oh, suddenly somebody appears in front of me and I can't handle it. There's Hei Yi. I used to pronounce his name He Yi. Chinese is such a funny language. Later on, there's this guy named Yu Mi. It, it's, it's hilarious. Trust me. Oh, left myself right open to that one. But as you can see, I couldn't turn my body into him, so... I can't wait till I get more defense so I can actually stop getting stopped mid-attack whenever something attacks me. I'm not sure if it's in this game, but in the, uh, I believe it's, I think it's, no, no, I, I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. Um, Dynasty Warrior 7, yeah, I know, it's pretty far into the series. Dynasty Warrior 7 has it to where the more combos you get on somebody, the higher, um, attack up they drop. I don't believe that's in this game, because I've seen attack up plus eights and defense up plus eights drop off of enemies in, on hard mode just because. So uh, yeah, that that those bombs that Huang guy hurls right there, they hurt everybody, even allies. So he's a, he's a dick. He's also a dick later on because he destroys Cao Cao's fleet, but that's a spoiler, and I don't want to give away the story too much. And since we're playing Cao Cao's version of the story, um, that doesn't happen. But yeah, I'm not gonna say anything else. I, I just actually spoiled the entire battle, I think. <laughs> it's actually the turning point in the story. So, uh, yeah, you're welcome. Hopefully you're not paying attention to that, though, and you'll just forget about it by the time that uh, battle comes around. And although South Cell's moveset is pretty good, he has a very poor charging attack, and I'll show you right now once I drop this dude. Oh, hey, I'm in red health. Cool. I'm just stacking up the combo points right here. Where are you going, buddy? I'm going to defeat this guy, see if he gives me a... Oh, there's a base captain over there. Good thing is about gate captains, they normally have these pots over here. Continue advancing towards the enemy's main camp. Yeah, gives you that life recovery right there. Woo! I have all my health. Once I get more health, uh, those will stop recovering my health. Oh, I forgot to pick up this upgrade. Never forget to pick up upgrades. It is very bad if you miss one. Ow. Very bad if you pick it up. Yeah, that enemy ambush is actually going to kill him if I don't get over there, so I better haul ass. This game wasn't really known for its cape physics, as you can see the capes kind of 
being all weird. It looks like I get half of it cut off there. It really doesn't make sense. And there's Huang Fu Song, just kind of chilling. You know, not really leading by example there. But, you know, your allies never do anything in this game, so. Not surprising. And I get my butt chewed out again. Yeah, that's a pretty good combo there. I'll definitely get to level 2, even without these combos, because when you actually destroy the officer, see, it gives me like a whole bunch of weapon EXP. So like, these little combos I'm getting, they really don't matter until you actually get farther in the game. There's Zhang Man Chang. Oh dear. Spirits of the Earth, rise and join our battle for freedom. What does this mean? Oh, geysers! Oh, nose! And see, I meant to attack him again, and my combo just went off to some other dude in the corner. I really hate this auto attack thing. I, I forgot how much I hated it. I mean, I didn't really hate it until I until it left the game, and I wasn't, you know, forced into doing it anymore. But it, as soon as it came back, it is so annoying. And this is in Dynasty Warriors 3 as well. Part of the reason why I didn't like Dynasty Warriors 3 as much as 4. I mean, it, it, it didn't help that I played 4 first. So going back to 3, in my opinion, was kind of like regressing. A lot of people like 3. Um, it's okay. One thing I like about it is that whenever you beat the game with the character, uh, if that character didn't appear in any battles, they will now appear in battles. Like, for instance, Dion Wei. Uh, he dies pretty early into the, into the game. Um... And if you beat the game on Dynasty Warriors 3 with him, um, you will see him appear in battles that he wasn't alive for, which is pretty cool. Same thing with Sun Jian. Um, I think I mentioned Sun Jian earlier, saying that he died pretty early. Um, his son, Sun Quan, actually takes over once he dies, and he, he's pretty much the leader of Wu. But if you beat the game in Dynasty Warriors 3 as Sun Jian, Sun Jian will take over as a leader. And that's pretty cool. That feature has not been in any other Dynasty Warriors game. So yeah. I really wish they'd bring it back. It, it made their, it made stories really a lot better. Because, you know, if you, you'd you be seeing all these guys in, in the later battles that they didn't appear in, I, I always thought it was cool. Because it made the battles more epic when you had to fight their, uh, their, when you had to fight, like, their emperors and stuff like that. Okay, oh, I'm not, too far out. no, we're not. I don't know how this game works, because this is a PC version, and I'm used to the uh, PlayStation 2. Oh. But uh, once you defeat Han Shan here, Zhang Liang will run away. Ow. Oh. Um, but I'm not sure if the PC version is the same way. Well, see, the thing about that is, he doesn't actually run. He says he's going to run, but he actually doesn't. It's kind of silly like that. Um, I really need a pot before I take on... Um, Jing Liang. See, he's saying so he's gonna retreat. Oh, jeez. You probably can't see it that well, but these guys are all glowing orange, and that means their attack is up. And I, you know, I. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't know if my body. Ow, can take it. Ah. See what I mean? Ow. I'll get it eventually. There we go. Ow. And no, I'm not too far out. I'm just paving the way for my soldiers. Like a good commander should. So back in China, they didn't give a shit. Commanders would take to the field and fight along with their soldiers, man. It was, it was awesome. Oh, man. He's almost dead. Got him. I had to admit, I was pretty nervous. I'm pretty weak right now. Walk away in shame. You cannot face your shame. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the first stage. From here, we go to the results screen, and, well, we'll see. Uh, there's a feature here that is not prevalent in any of the later Dynasty Warriors games, which is the uh, battle replay. It's kind of useless. I mean, it, it shows you the track that you went. You can see here I followed it pretty, you know, pretty straight. As you can see, Silent Sal's morale was up the entire way. 
because I'm a boss. And uh, there's Zhang Liang, and he's down. Well, not very exciting. I mean, I'm sorry I'm not a better play-by-play -play announcer, but it's really not that exciting. Um, I didn't remember getting any items, but uh, cool. Okay, got some pretty good experience for that. Went to rank 14. It's good. And my weapon went to level 2! It got a power-up. Not much. But yeah, I will see you next time.